Hi, so we're going to show now that CP equals CV plus R for uh, an ideal gas equation of state by using Maxwell relations, starting with entropy and differential entropy. So according to definition, the constant volume heat capacity, CV, equals T times partial S to the temperature, constant volume and number of moles. Similarly, CP, constant pressure heat capacity, is equal to temperature times partial S to T, a constant P and number of moles. Um, but where, where, where do we start and where do we go? We start with S, which is a natural function of E and X, where X is the mechanical sense of variables and E is the internal energy of the system. Um, but we need to find a way to relate entropy to CP, CV, and in the end, temperature, pressure, and volume. Let's start by looking at what our definitions of our, uh, for CV and CP are. We have S, T, and V in combinations, S, T, and P on this uh, side here. So let's, let's start by trying to uh, get a new uh, 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 dependency of entropy on the uh, other uh, variables uh, that are available in the system. So what we want is S, instead of a function of E and V after we substitute in mechanical of variables, what we want is S as a function of T and V in order to do the following. We could have dS equals del S del T at constant V times the number of N just by taking the just by doing simple uh, taking the, the uh, differential of this times dV uh, I'm sorry this first one will be dT plus del S del V under bar constant T comma N dV so if we know what these quantities are, we're a long ways towards solving this problem. Luckily, this is simply CV by T. This is the question mark. What is del S del V at constant T? Well, to approach this problem, let's start by looking at the thermodynamic state function that is a, a natural function of temperature and volume and seeing if we can get anywhere from that relationship. So what is the thermodynamic state function? That's a natural function, temperature and volume. It's the Helmholtz free energy. So if we begin with the Helmholtz free energy, uh, we can write this differential. Uh, well, A is actually a, a, a achieved by the Lagrange transform of energy with respect to entropy, uh, to get rid of this uh, entropy dependence. So A equals E minus TS, as you can see in the other videos. And what we have with this relationship is then dA equals minus S dT minus P dV plus mu dN. Now, for this problem, we're just going to assume constant uh, uh, number of moles. So dN will just disappear. And we're not going to deal with a partial molar derivation of this. We're going to deal with a pure component system, one component. So what we can use is commutative property to show that partial by partial V of multivariable differentiation. Partial by partial V, constant T, partial A, partial uh, T, the other uh, dependent at constant V, must equal the derivatives taken in the different order. So this must equal partial by partial T, constant V, times partial A, partial V, constant T. When you apply that to this problem, what you end up with is minus del S under bar del V under bar at constant T, partial by partial T, the V comes from here, del A del T at constant V, well that's easy, you just look, del A del T at constant V, this is gone, this is gone, so you move minus S. This equals minus del P del T constant V under bar. So now, the, the minus signs will just cancel out, 
and we have del S del V constant T equals del P del T constant V. A little bit of uh, juice. So now we can substitute in this relationship here into our equation up above here for this step in the process. So we can rewrite now ds underbar equals cv over t dt plus del p del, del t constant v dv. Okay, now what about del s del t constant p? Well, we know what that equals up above. It equals uh, the CP divided by the temperature. How do we get that into this problem? What we can do is take this equation and then just take the partial derivative with respect to the temperature at constant pressure. When we do this, you end up with del S del T at uh, constant P equals CV over T del T del T constant P plus del P del T constant V del V del T constant P. So now we're almost there. We've almost gotten through the solution. All you do now is sub in P V equals R T into this equations. Of course, by definition, del T del T is equal to 1. And notice that this equals CP over T. What we end up with in the end is CP over T equals CV over T plus R over T. Or CP equals CV plus R for ideal gas. If you're using a more, uh, more realistic uh, um, equation of state, you pretty much uh, can still use this result in this relationship here to just substitute in the equation of state that you're using to see if you can simplify it any further. You might not be able to make it much better. But uh, at least this gives you the relationship between CP and CV in general for uh, other cubic equations of state or whatever other equation of state you might want to use uh, in these relationships right here. That's it. Thank you.